What's going on guys, Birchy, I'm here, I'm with another video, I'm on an upload schedule, we've been getting videos out every day, the only downside of getting those videos out is they might not be that good, and I might sound like this in some of the videos, hey guys, um, I'm doing this right now, you, you know what, that's just, I need to get back with my personality, because I'm an outgoing guy, I like to have fun, I like to talk loud, but I can't really do that at night when I make these videos, simply because I have other people in the house, I don't want to be screaming, you actually have to get really loud for the mic to pick up some of this stuff, which is crazy, but then again, it does make the, co wall the quality, like the quality bear. it does make the quality a lot better, um, today's video is just going to be a short, small video gameplay of me getting wrecked basically I'm I tried out some new um little like stick things for grip that's actually what the video is going to be about is how you can be better in Call of Duty and other games without getting a scuff mainly FPS is such as Call of Duty sorry um excuse me is what I should have said that's the proper term but you don't need a scuff to be great if you're on a budget and you need something to be better in Call of Duty and you need something with grip honestly there's a few things you can buy um, to be better at Call of Duty, you're going to need, um, well, you're not going to need it. You can be awesome, but if you want to make your game better, you can go up to Walmart and you can buy these little um, things you can fit over your actual thumbsticks. They're not really control freaks. They may give you a little edge of um, yeah, like a height on it if you really want to, but they're actually just going to give you a lot of grip so your fingers don't slip off. They feel a little weird at first. They get dulled down and they start working better to you and they fit to you and you get used to it and your game's going to be a lot better. So when you're not in the fight, you're not going to slide off the thumbstick get wrecked another thing you can do is change your thing to tactical if you can get used to tactical that works out a lot better because you can like dodge you can do a lot of different things you can knife with different buttons that's going to help out if you can get used to that because you don't have to move your hands around that much you can also find your sensitivity you don't want to be you don't want your sensitivity to be so low that you can't actually turn and shoot someone to turn on someone but you don't want it so high that you can't even hit a shot from four feet away in front of you that's that's a big bad thing you don't want that. And another thing you can invest in if you have really sweaty hands is actually, um, I fell off the map. You can also invest in this, um, like a powder, like lotion thing that's going to help you have more traction and grip with the controller so it doesn't slide. So having all that grip and all this stuff you can get for under like 20 bucks and sensitivity is free. And honestly, the number one key to being better at Call of Duty is just play it a lot. I know this is like a short video that you probably got, you probably don't care about, but just try these things out if you suck at Call of Duty and leave in the comments after you tried it for three days and just let me know if you're better. It's just a short video I'm going to give like a few tips to. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and comment on the video how it worked out and sub for new content every day. It's been good, guys. I'm out.